Hello, it's Emma Jo here. And first of all, we're going to start making a card called Sunbeam with an, some A6 Multifarious card, a stencil brush series 9, and some Elements Ink Sundance. And just placing that in the middle, and then around the outside of that, we will blend some Elements Ink green sleeves. Then a little bit of Elements Ink Pine in the corners, taking that frame a little shade darker. And in the top corners too. Build up that colour until you're happy with it. Now the snail cap mushrooms stamp set and we're going to be taking both of those but so start with the first one the taller of the two and they're going just off center to the left and I've inked him up in Versafine Claire Nocturne and the smaller one just shelters slightly to the right again in Versafine Claire Nocturne And I'm going to perch one of the fairy foragers right on the very top of the tallest snail cap mushroom. Now using the fern head stamp, if you ink that up in Versafine Clair Shady Lane and create a bit of a forest floor around the bottom half of this picture. Already it's coming to life, isn't it? It's lovely. There we go. Now this is Willow from the Willow stamp set and I'm just going to be creating a multi-layered frame at the top, stamping in this fine Claire Shady Lane. And this is the little forest moss from the forest moss stamp set. And if you stamp it in first and second generation, you can create this sort of lumpy, bumpy, mossy floor, which is fab for a forest. Now I've got my Mondeleuze watercolour pencils here and I'm just colouring around the outside with a mid-green and then in the centre with a yellow and underneath the cap as well, just around the stalk. Oh, and the stalk as well, jolly good. Adding some accents with that lovely te dark teal blue. Using a Uniball Gel pen, broad variety, I'm just adding a little bit of interest to the dots that are in the, in the stamp. Rather lovely. Now, using the Kuritaki Clean Colour Real Brush Pens, I've got a selection here. We've got that beautiful mid-blue, very pale pink. I'm back with some yellow from the watercolour pencils. And I'm just going to lift underneath the mushrooms so it almost looks like they are shining a light. They're reflecting the sunshine above onto the earth beneath. So lovely. So get your fan brush, a little bit of water, sprinkle, and then tap off that water with a paper towel. Make sure your page is completely dry, and I'm using that Willow stamp again with some Elements Ink Mermaid, just to give it a touch of a different colour with the frame. That's stunning. Now again, I've got mermaid on my brush and it's a stencil brush series three and I'm just darkening the edges of that frame and you'll notice that the darker the edges are and the corners the more focus is brought to the center to where all your action is happening
Now I'm adding a little bit extra sunlight with some dinkles. Now this is the yellow and I've mixed it with some mica minerals bronze metallic and popped it in a needle tip bottle. And I love that because it sort of does a faux bleaching effect as well. You can see it's lifted some colour up in the frame. Now this is a Unibel, Uniball even, gel pen and it's broad and it's white. And if you feel like you want to add some highlights or lighten up some bits on the, the cap of the mushroom, that's what I'm doing here. And I'm also adding a little bit of patterning to the fern. Now those fern heads have a lovely curve to them. And I'm just adding some dots following the curved part of the fern. Add some dots here, there and everywhere because it just adds to that magical feeling. They're just large circles like orbs adds to that feeling of sunlight hitting and I'm going to colour those white that we just did with some Kuretake colour and that was the blue. You can use the pink and the yellow as well. So now I've got Stickles Glitter Glue and this is Cayman which is a lovely blue colour and I'm bringing it down through that willow at the top so we get a nice bit of sparkle. And I'm doing the same. This is golden rod. So now we're going underneath the cap of the mushroom and just imagining that it's all falling out from the mushroom, this golden glitter. Now I'm just going to darken using my Series 3 stencil brush and some dark denim, that edge yet again. And you may think, goodness me, but just look, the more you do that, the more the centre pops. Now this is a darker blue. I've popped the word sunbeam from the inspirational words on there. And my friend, you have done it. Well done.